Hey, check on stories we're following for you on Robin Hood Radio. Today, Community Health and Wellness Center, coronavirus COVID-19 testing is going on from 9.30 to 12 noon. At Salisbury Visiting Nurse Association, you park in the lot, walk to the tents while supplies last. It's quick, free, and confidential, 860-489-0931. Meanwhile, continuing in Kent through that partnership with the state of Connecticut, Kent is hosting free COVID-19 testing every Monday from 3 till 7 p.m. The Town of Kent Transfer Station, 46 Maple Street. More information, townofkentct.org. Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont marked hopeful milestone on Friday of last week as the first statewide round of COVID-19 vaccinations of nursing home residents and staff was wrapped up at Live Well in Southington. A procession of workers cycled in and out of the vaccination clinic as Lamont was talking to reporters. The town of Norfolk is working with a lighting designer to brighten the parking lot and pathways leading from Town Hall to Station Plaza. In a story on this weekend's Republican American, First Electman Matt Riska said a total of six more lights will be installed with the assistance of the Norfolk Foundation, which is helping with the estimated $2,200 per light cost. At the same time the lighting is being upgraded, the Public Works Department will remove invasive Norway maples behind Town Hall to open the vista, and they'll regrade the pathway from Town Hall to the center. Riska had hoped to tackle the work in late 2020, but it's been delayed by tree and road work. Also percolating through the planning process is an expansion of Robinson Plaza, the area around the fountain in the town center. It went before the Inland Wetlands Commission last week and faces the Planning Commission this week. New York will allow police, firefighters, teachers, and elderly over the age of 75 to start making COVID-19 vaccine appointments today. But there is a big but here. Many will likely have to wait weeks to get the shots due to supply shortages, according to Governor Andrew Cuomo. This development came as Cuomo relented the pressure from local officials calling for the expanded eligibility in order to streamline distribution and speed up the slow immunization effort so far. Part of the expansion effort will involve the activation of over 500 pharmacies today that will be offering COVID-19 vaccines in New York, as well as hundreds of other medical offices and clinics run by local health departments. The opening of Vassar's expansive new Poughkeepsie building is like a reward for workers and patients. The patient pavilion opened up on Saturday in the city of Poughkeepsie. The venture, which hospital officials estimate cost roughly $550 to $600 million, is believed to be the largest construction project ever in the city of Poughkeepsie. The 752,000-square-foot edifice located off Livingston Street and toward the rear of the Medical Center campus boasts an emergency department nearly twice the size of that in the former building, along with several technological and aesthetic upgrades. Over the weekend, no one was injured in a blaze that destroyed a mobile home in West Stockbridge. Firefighters received a call at 4 p.m. on Friday evening at the home of Janaris Mill Pond Trailer Park off Route 41. A home had caught fire, the West Stockbridge Richmond Fire Chief Stephen Travers said. He said firefighters had to cut open the trailer to gain access as the doorway was blocked on the inside. The homeowner was not present when the fire started. Travers said it might have been an electric origin and the Department of Fire Services is still investigating. Investigating, the Stockbridge Fire Department provided mutual aid. An agreement between the town of Stockbridge and the Stockbridge Bowl Association has ended a 13-month legal standoff over a proposal to rid the lake of invasive Eurasian waterfoil weeds. The town paid the association $18,500 to compensate for recent legal expenses incurred in the dispute, which the group plans to use for long-leaded upgrades and repairs to the town beach, a magnet for residents, especially young families, under the resolution which was come together in a closed-door meeting by the Commission and Select Board, the town agreed to reimburse the association for legal expenses, but that money will be directed to improvement projects at the lake, including parking area upgrades, improved access for vehicles, restoring the sand beach, reopening the snack bar, and installing a shallow drainage channel to prevent continual erosion of that area. So meetings coming up in our region today. In Sharon, the Sharon Green Committee meets at 4 o'clock. The Board of Education at 6. Inland Wetlands Commission at 6.30. In Salisbury today at 5.30, Planning and Zoning Commission meets 5.30. The Salisbury Pathways Committee. In Falls Village, the Board of Finance has their regular meeting at 6.30. And then at 7 o'clock, the Board of Selectmen regular meeting. 
In the town of Armenia, a public hearing will be held by the Zoning Board of Appeals in the town hall. That will happen tonight at 7 o'clock. The public hearing will be conducted remotely via Zoom. In Sheffield, the Conservation Commission has their virtual meeting coming up tonight at 7 p.m. Cornwall at 7.30, the Park and Recreation having their meeting. Now coming up tomorrow, in Sheffield, the Board of Health has their virtual meeting. That's at 2 o'clock. In Sharon, the Board of Selectmen have a meeting scheduled for 3 o'clock. In Cornwall at 4 o'clock, the Wastewater Committee at 4 o'clock. Cornwall reads Great Fiction, Roxana Robinson and Anna Carinia. And then at 7 o'clock, the Planning and Zoning Commission has their meeting. In Kent tomorrow, the Sewer Commission has their regular meeting at 4. Board of Selectmen regular meeting at 6.30. Zoning Board of Appeals has their regular meeting at 7 p.m. In Salisbury at 5 p.m., the ZBA meets, and then at 7.30, Salisbury Recreation Commission. In Hillsdale tomorrow night, the town board has their regular meeting set at 7 p.m. It's via Zoom. On Wednesday in Sharon, the Planning and Zoning Commission has a meeting scheduled for 5.30 in Salisbury at 5.30. The Salisbury Fire Commission on Wednesday. Falls Village, the Board of Finance regular meeting at 7 p.m. It's via Zoom. That is happening on Wednesday as well. In Sheffield, the Planning Board has their next meeting via Zoom on Wednesday at 7 p.m. A public hearing will be held by the Town of Pine Plains Planning Board on Wednesday at 7.30 for the purpose of hearing all persons for or against a special use permit for a major home occupation submitted by Willow Roots for property located at 23 North Main Street. The Town of Northeast Planning Board has a public hearing coming up on Wednesday via Zoom at 7.40 or as soon as thereafter when the planning board meets for a possible application of Peter W. Clare for a lot line adjustment to a tax parcel. The parcel is located on Route 22 in Millerton, New York. The application is open for inspection via email. To request a copy, nepb at townofnortheastny.gov or call 518-789-3300, extension 608. The Town of Amenia is now requesting sealed proposals from qualified firms to reform engineering services for the Town of Amenia, Route 44 sidewalk expansion to Beekman Park. For more information about the Town of Amenia, please visit the town's website at ameniany.gov. Proposers must submit one original plus five copies plus one digital copy on CD, DVD, or USB drive. As a single PDF document, proposals must be received no later than Thursday the 14th and addressed to the attention of Don Marie Klinger, Town Clerk, Route 22, Amenia, New York, 12501. On Thursday, Cornwall at 1030, the Conservation Commission has a meeting. Also Thursday, the Sharon Sewer and Water Commission meeting at 7 p.m. In Salisbury on Thursday, Board of Finance has their quarterly meeting beginning at 7 p.m. Meanwhile, in Kent, the Planning and Zoning Commission has a regular meeting set for Thursday at 7 p.m. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com, also on Facebook, and you'll find them also on Instagram and Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Dow Jones Industrial Average will start off the week at 31,097.97, the NASDAQ at 13,201.98, and the S&P 500 at 3824.68. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.